Hey yo, what up? It's KP on Twirl TV coming at you from the belly of the beast, Hollywood, California. And uh, this episode, we're going to get into the Federal Reserve and uh, the monetary system a little bit. I'm just going to kind of lightly touch on it. And uh, you know what I'm saying? You go do your own research and figure this stuff out yourself. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to uh, plant a couple seeds and drop a couple gems. So um, uh, let's talk about the Federal Reserve real quick. So the Federal Reserve um, came in to act in 1913. Um, now they kind of snake old it on in there. It was December, right around Christmas time. There wasn't a whole lot of people in Congress, and you know, what I mean, they snake oiled this uh, this Federal Reserve Act in, in, into law. And what that did is they created a private central bank that basically was allowed to create um, create fiat currency, which means money uh, out of nothing, just paper money backed by absolutely nothing, and issue it, you know, to the United States. Um, and in turn, how it works is when they lend us money, we then give them treasury bonds. Okay, now this is just a, this is all on paper. Okay, they, we, they get treasury bonds that are paper, we get money that's paper. Okay, it used to be gold and silver. So now what happens when, you know, the U.S. government comes to them, like say in 2008, and says, you know, we need, you know, $900 billion, uh, you know, to, to save the economy. Um, then the Federal Reserve goes, okay, we're going to give you that $900 billion. You're going to give us $900 billion in Treasury bonds. And then, here's the kicker, you're going to pay interest on the money. Now, let's just get, take a little uh, quick uh, a little uh, example analogy. Let's say um, I'm the Federal Reserve and you're the U.S. government. And you come to me and you're like, KP, I need a million, bro. I need, just, just give me one million. I'll be good. I'll be able to get, like, you know what I'm saying, my life together, my business, and I'll, I'll be able to make a bubble after that. I just need this million. I'm like, all right, cool. There is no million for you to be had. That's why you're coming to me. There, there is no million. So I'm like, okay, that's cool. Um, I'm going to give you this million, you know, to do what you got to do, but you're going to have to give me back that million plus interest. Now, if there's no million in existence and it's not to be had, and you got to come to me for that, where does the interest come from? Well, where the interest comes from is I got to print more money. So here's another example of things that have been happening. So in like 2000, 2001, we had a little, uh, you know, uh, financial kind of bubble, uh, you know, with the internet, um, you know, the stock market thing that happened, you know, and there was kind of a little bit of a, a you know, an economic downturn around then. And then it picked up and in 2008, we had a, you know, a bigger one and the stock market dropped hundreds of points and, you know, uh, uh, Hank, uh, Henry Paulson, uh, you know, threatened, uh, threatened Congress and told them that they were going to implement martial law if they didn't, you know, get this eight, nine hundred billion through. And, uh, you know, then we had, uh, we had that bubble. Well, the next bubble that comes and they're just printing money, printing money. The next bubble that comes is going to be even worse than in 2008 because basically what they're doing is they're printing all this money and they're paying off one credit card with another credit card and that's what they're going to try to do again with this whole quantitative easing that they just did they're going to do 50 billion the federal reserve is going to buy 50 billion a month in these toxic assets um you know to try to kick start the economy so they're basically saying they're going to unlimitedly uh, unlimited start um you know pressing money and and trying to pump as much money in the economy as possible and what happens when they do that is it takes the purchasing power of our dollar and it decreases it it makes it go down so things like gasoline go up price of your bread milk things at the store uh, medicine everything like that is going to go up in price you notice it is going on right now okay that's inflation that's what that's what that is okay so Basically, the Federal Reserve is a private banking cartel who has unlimited power to create money out of thin air, out of nothing, and then they make us pay them back interest, which is not in existence. So that means they have to create more money, which then gets us into these bubbles where we have these, these credit card paying off of credit card situations happen. So the next time it happens, which it will happen, it's going to happen. It's not, it's not a debate no more about, oh, is it going to happen? It's about when is it going to happen. When it does happen, it's going to be worse than in 2008, and it might be real bad. So I'm real big on gold. I'm real big on silver. You know what I'm saying? All the commodities and metals I'm big on. Um, you know, even uh, things like, you know, having a, uh, you know, a, a little garden. 
you know what I'm saying, is going to be important. And having seeds and stuff like that on deck is going to be more important. And, uh, you know, even solar panels and stuff like that. Actual tangible things are going to be way more important than money when your money's not worth nothing. You know what I'm saying? And, uh... You know, you know, Hurricane Sandy just hit, and people are losing power. People can't get gasoline. You know what I'm saying? People are already shooting each other over, you know, waiting in line for gasoline. Like, shit's getting crazy. You know what I'm saying? And if you're watching these videos, you recognize that, that things are, are getting, you know, a little bit more serious. You know what I mean? And uh, we got to realize that the Federal Reserve is a big problem of this, and that this, these uh, trillions of dollars in debt that they that they have us in are not owed by us. You know what I'm saying? And look up this federal income tax too because all that money goes to pay the interest on the debt strictly to the banks. You know what I'm saying? And that's where the, you get the whole idea of, you know, the rich keep getting richer and the poor keep getting poorer. You know what I'm saying? Well, this is how they're doing it. They're they're slowly sucking all the money out of us. You know, they hit us with these $68 parking tickets for street cleaning. You know what I'm saying? They're slowly sucking us and bleeding us dry. You know what I'm saying? And it's all going to the banks. You know what I'm saying? The banks are the enemy. Quit looking at the president, you know what I'm saying? Quit looking at the politicians. They are all in the pockets for the bank. The man that makes the money makes the rules, you know what I'm saying? Who was a Rothschild that said, you know, give me control of a, a nation's currency and I don't care who makes the laws, you know what I'm saying? Look these people up, Rothschilds, you know what I'm saying? The people that own these banks, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, J.P. Morgan, you know what I'm saying? Look into this guy, you know, these, you know, the original snake oil salesmen. OG original snake oil hustle you out, uh, bamboozle you. These are the guys that run the world, man, and they own banks, okay? And they uh, dress up in nice suits and they got beards and they look like they know what they're talking about because they're saying fancy shit, you know what I'm saying? They're talking numbers and this jazz, blah, blah, blah. Henry Kissinger, all these type of people, man. These are the guys we need to be looking at, man. It's these banks creating this money, making all the rules, because they, they make the money so they can buy up all the politicians, they can buy up all the, the resources, you know what I'm saying? They can buy up all the media. You know they got all the media. You know they got all the media in their pocket. They buy up all the resources with this fiat currency, and then they implode the currency and debase it. And what that debasing the currency means is, is they, they basically take the power of it, which it's worth now, which is not even what it was worth in 1913 before this happened and they make it worth even less so let's say you got 10 grand in the bank on, on uh, you know Sunday night and Monday morning comes through and all of a sudden your 10 grand's worth 5 grand you know what I'm saying that's the kind of shit that's gonna start happening bank holiday look that up you know what I'm saying search engine that and, uh, and yeah man that's what we need to start looking at more and more is, is these bankers and people creating the money you know what I'm saying out of nothing you know, taxing us, making us, bleeding us dry, and they got all the money they got. And beyond the money, it's not even about the money, it's about the resources, it's about the actual tangible, physical things that you can have, you know what I'm saying? Actual resources, you know, they got it all, we got nothing, we're just barely trying to make it month to month, you know what I'm saying, eating top ramen and shit, you know what I mean? Everyone's on food stamps right now. Back in the day, you'd be in a soup kitchen line. It'd be a line down the street. Well, we don't we don't see the lines down the street no more because everyone got a cool little credit card. You know what I'm saying? Wait till they shut that credit card off. You know, then they get us in fighting again. You see the video about divide and conquer. All of a sudden, we're fighting each other for resources now. It's exactly what they want. You know what I'm saying? So, hope I touched on that a little bit. You know what I mean? I know we kind of went off on some tangents, but, uh, you know, looking at that a little bit. And uh, until next time, man, I'll see you guys next week. Peace.